Hey, what's up, guys? I tried to make this video yesterday, but the audio was all distorted, so I have to re-record this, unfortunately. Uh, but it's good because I think this is very important. Uh, this is about just the most important person you're going to have a conversation with is yourself. And I think David Goggins said that. I don't think it's some revolutionary way of thinking. And you can't. You also can't bullshit yourself if you say, you know, I'm going to do well in this test or I'm going to do well in this athletic event and you don't put in the work, then you're just lying to yourself and you're ultimately going to fail. You know, if you're not prepared, prepare to fail. Another saying, I'm not trying to throw puns at you, but what I've been doing lately or what I've been doing actually since college in 2012 <laughs> Uh, is for every situation, I tell myself I have a mantra to get myself out of the, the victim mindset or falling down a rabbit hole of negative thinking. And that's to tell myself that I'm stronger than this situation. You don't want to say you're stronger than this person, him or her or whoever, because that becomes a, a kind of an ego thing where it's like an alpha mentality, like, oh, I'm stronger than you, you know, and then it becomes like you're at, at a hierarchy versus the situation itself. So, for instance, I pitched something to a radio station. Uh, they said they're going to put it on the radio. They said the music was sweet and then it didn't fall through. I got ghosted, so to speak. It happens a lot because I think a lot of people who are promoting, they don't want to have bad blood or burn any bridges for any future, uh, you know, any future releases. You don't want to be like, no, and then just have, like completely cut off the connection if the person does become uh, more popular in the future. I understand that. It's just, I think I'm a man of my word. I do all these videos. And I think I'm very honest with the people that I talk to. And I think loyalty is a very important thing to me. That's why I don't have like a huge group of people surrounding me. I just have some, you know, that I like to pick in my life. So, uh, yeah. So just have a mantra with your life Just say, I'm stronger than this. I can get through it. And it sounds so stupid, but you just need to say it. You, if you need to say it out loud, if you need to shout in your pillow, if you need to like punch something, say, I'm stronger than this situation. Cause it propels you into the next thing instead of demoralizing you when you do fall down and then you do just keep like nothing stagnant. So you always have to be changing your approach and getting better and getting stronger. And you always compare yourself to where you were at yesterday. If you start comparing, comparing yourself, you're going to fall into those traps. So that's number one, tell yourself that you're stronger than the situation. Number two is think about everything you do throughout the day. I don't want to say like, you just have to think about, is this getting me closer to where I want to be or is this getting me farther away from where I want to be? So when I pick up my phone, if I'm looking through something, I ask myself in the back of my head, it's like, is this getting me closer to my goals? Obviously, you're going to have goals. I think most people do. If you listen to yourself, you have an internal dialogue that keeps telling you to go towards things you're scared of. Those are usually the things that you need to do. Okay, so if I'm on my phone, that's getting me farther away from where I want to be. So making videos like this, I think it's helping people. I think it's providing value. I think it's getting closer to where I want to be in my life. So think about everything that you do. Write it down. Seriously, people do stuff like that. It, like people who have made it or whatever, they, they don't <laughs> – like people who are trying to aspire to be like that think that people don't do stuff like, like that, like write down a schedule or – audit their day, think about what they could have done better throughout the day. Like those things matter. The little minutes matter, the little inches like that, uh, Al Pacino speech and that stupid movie. What's that movie called? That football movie says it's all about the inches, all about the little things that you do throughout the day that matter. All those minutes that go by that went by, you're not getting that back. So yeah, just really consciously think about it and, and just think about what is eating up your time. Think about who is eating up your time Think about how you could be better to your spouse, how you could be better to your family. All of these things matter. All of these things are connected in some way. And if you, if any of those are unbalanced, then you're just not going to have a good life. I think like if there's three things. There's health, wealth, and relationships. If any of those is out of balance, you know, you're not going to feel very fulfilled. If you're just like throwing out music, 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 but you neglect your financial situation you could uh, and neglect your relationships with your family and with the people that you love, you're going to feel that imbalance. You're going to be like, oh, I made it in this, as in this avenue, but I didn't make it in these other things. I like to have a collective idea of what success, because success is relative. And that's what a moral technique said. He said, uh, what sacrifice is how much sacrifice you can make for other things. So you have to sacrifice 
that party that you want to go to or that friend you, that really is really needy that you need needs to talk to you on the phone. You got to say no. You got to say no a lot of the time because success is boring. It's very, very boring. You have to be kind of a boring person. It's not this elaborate lifestyle with popping bottles and things like that. It's not like that. At least from my experience, maybe I I have no idea. I'm not like that though. Uh, so yeah, guys, just one, one more time. So number one, tell yourself you're stronger than the situation. The situation, not the person. Number two, Think about every aspect of your day. Write it down, seriously. And then at at night, it goes into your subconscious when you go to bed, and then you can it propels you into the next day. So, guys, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully these videos are helpful. These are for you. Honestly, 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 I want to connect. I want to uh, build a more po- – I hate saying that, like a positive community. Like I don't like saying that. Because I think there's a lot of fake positivity. You can get pissed off and you can get fiery without just like being happy all the time, like a brave new world uh, where everyone's just giving fake love. I, I just absolutely hate the fakeness of some of these positivity movements. And uh, I think honesty is the, the number one thing. If you have good intentions when you're being honest with someone, uh, I think that's like the best, the best thing to do, the best intention ultimately. Um, but thanks, guys. Have a great Tuesday. I'll upload this today, probably around 5 o'clock. So uh, uh, once again, I'm going to be making a Cuban-based sample instrumental that's going to be released, uh, man, in a week or two. Hyphens. I, I, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully nothing messes up. Where's the wood? Okay. So, guys, have a good Tuesday. I'll see you next time.